Hello everyone, welcome to my online geography class, KSK Geography. Exam is nearby, right? You have to study so many chapters, so many subjects, how to get rid of all those chapters, right? So here I am with exam recap episodes. So we'll discuss about all the chapters. Within few minutes, you will get rid of whole chapters so it, that it will help you to get good marks in your exam, right? So today we are going to discuss about the chapters that is climate of India. Climate of India, before starting any chapters, just focus, just see, what are the main things you need to study from this chapter? What are the portions are there in your chapter that you need to study? So here you can see the chapters, climate of India. First of all, you need to know the features of Indian climate, right? We'll discuss those things later. Next, factors affecting the climate of India. Basically, from this part, these two parts, give reason question, it will be there, right? You will get give reason, those type of question, it will be there from these two parts. Next, season of India. Remember, maximum weightage given from this chapter that is the seasons of India and rain, rainfall distribution of India. Those are the things you need to focus so you will get good marks in your exam. Next, you will study the features of Indian climate. So what are the key words? What are the things you need to remember? Right? Features of Indian climate. Here you can see the features of Indian climate. That is the treatise mentioned. The name of the Indian climate that is called the tropical monsoon climate. Now why it is called tropical monsoon? There's a two term. Tropical and monsoon. Why it is called tropical? Because India is situated in the tropical area. That's why it is called tropical. Why it monsoon? Remember monsoon means season change. In India we are getting different seasons in different time. So that's why it is called monsoon. We change its direction completely. That's why it is called monsoon. So these are the things you need to remember and those are the features of Indian climate. What are those? As I said, reversal wind. That's why it is called the monsoon. In summer season, wind it will blow that is called southwest monsoon. It will come from the southwest part and in the winter season, it will come from the northeastern side. So that's why it is called northeast monsoon. So there will be complete change in wind direction. That's why it is called reversal of wind. And seasonal and variable rainfall. All over India, is the amount of rainfall is not same at all, right? So different part of India is getting different amount of rainfall. Even time also varies. Different part of India is getting rainfall in different time, right? Next one. Diversity in Indian climate that we already discussed, right? Diversity, different part, as I said, so different part of India getting experiencing different type of climatic condition. Next, formation of alternative high pressure and low pressure. This point is connected with the reversal wind, right? In summer season, in Indian mainland, there will be the low pressure, right? So wind it will come from high pressure to low pressure. So from surrounding water bodies, wind it will come there. So Indian landmass, there will be low pressure. On the other hand, winter season, Indian man, mainland, there will be high pressure. So wind it will go from land to sea. So those are the basic things you need to remember from there. Next, you need to study about the factors of Indian climate. Now what are those? Those are the factors, mainly those factors why, you know, climatic condition varies in different part of India. You know, you will get different type of climatic condition in different parts. What are those factors? Those latitudinal factors, location of Himalayan mountain, distance from the sea and factors of alt altitude and relief features. Those are the features which control the climatic condition of India. Remember from this part basically give reason question it will be there. So I am giving you some simple tricks how to answer those give reason question. So first of all you need to remember one thing that in Indian map which are the main main cities. What are the main cities? Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, Bangalore. All those cities location you need to remember in the map. If you know the location of those cities is in the in, on India map so you can answer those questions very easily. How? Suppose one city is given in northern side, another city is given in southern side. So obviously southern city's temperature it will be more as it is close to the equator. As we are going to the north, the temperature it will be less, right? So in that way you can answer those questions according to the you know given question the two in two cities, right? Next one location of Himalayan mountain. You know Himalayan mountain it helps in two ways, right? First of all it stops the cold Siberian wind to enter India. So that's why Indian 
and temperature remained comparatively higher. On the other hand, Himalayan mountain blocked the southwest monsoon. So, they, in the Indian part, there will be rain. Next, distance from the sea. This question, you will see in the question, somewhere it will be written range of temperature or summer is more colder than winter. In such type of language, it will be written there. Remember, always those type of question you need to answer distance from the sea. Right? How? All the coastal cities, what are those? Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, those cities, you will see there will be equable climate. It will be not so warm, not so cold. On the other hand, the, the cities like Delhi, Chandigarh, so those Jaipur, those cities are far away from the water body. So there it will be extreme climate or continental climate. It means summer it will be too hot, winter it will be too cold. So you can answer those questions from distance from the sea point of view. Next one, factors of altitude. Now two cities, you know, it will be given two cities. And if you will find one city's name like the hill station, what are those? Like Shimla. Darjeeling, Manali, right? So those cities, temperature, why it is low? Because there, there is a factor of altitude. As the height increase, temperature decrease. That is called normal lapse rate of temperature. Next one, relief features. Relief features, how it control the climatic conditions, especially the rainfall distribution. That we will discuss later on in the next part, right? So next, we will discuss about the seasons. As I said, this part is very, very important. You need to know there in India, there are four seasons. What are those? The hot season or summer season that is March to May, monsoon or the advancing monsoon season that is June to September, rotating monsoon only two months, October and November and the cold season that is December to February. That's overall it started from March to February. So it's, compi it's compiled the whole year. So now you need to study about those seasons one by one. What are the important features? So here you can see from summer season, March to May, we already discussed what will be the feature. Summer, obviously temperature, it will be very high right humidity it will be low that time there will be no rainfall on indian landmass right pre-monsoon period so that is the pre-monsoon you know before the rainy season that time so it will not get rain so hot and dry winds that is low basically that it will flow over the Gangatic plain areas that is low in means what local winds that you know raise the temperature in this part. Next, the Kalbaisaki or nor'easter, right? So those are basically cyclones. Remember one thing: this time, as the temperature is very high and temperature is there on Indian landmass, sunlight position is there on Indian landmass. So when the temperature, you know, sudden raise of temperature, so it will create, it will generate the cyclones. Those cyclones in Bay of Bengal when it will create the cyclones so bay of bengal when it will create the cyclones so you know it will develop cyclones here in bay of bengal and this part you can see there's the west bengal it will enters in west bengal from bay of bengal to the landmass west west bengal after entering in west bengal then it will go toward the assam so that is in west bengal it is called kalbaisaki it helps in jute cultivation and when it will enter in Assam, that time it is called Vardoi Chila. It helps in tea cultivation. Remember those two important points. These points and uh, you know you need to remember those are the names. Next, mango shower. Similarly, in the southern part of India, here also cyclones it will develop and that's why southern part of India, especially Kerala, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu, it will get rain and this rain it will help to grow the mango. So that's why it is called mango shower here. It is called mango shower here on the other hand the cherry blossom southern part of india it ha also helps for the cultivation of coffee and it is called the cherry blossom why it is called cherry blossom coffee basically the coffee beans that is green in color but due to that uh, you know cyclones it helps to get the coffee green coffee beans convert to the cherry color so that's why it is called cherry blossom right that's why it is called cherry blossom next we will discuss about the next one the monsoon uh, or advancing monsoon season what are those basically these are the rainy season these four months what are those four months june to september june to september this time basically it will be rain 90 percent rainfall occurred during this time what are the features other features here you can see temperature it will be high high humidity rainfall is more cloudy sky so as the rainfall is more you can see during that time there will be cloud uh, uh, you know in the, on the sky next one monsoon blast when remember when it is monsoon blast 
at the beginning of the June, in the month of June, right, when the monsoon will come with lot of moisture, all of a sudden it will start creating, you know, rain. So that is called the monsoon blast. Continue, continuous few days it will be rain, heavy rain. That is called monsoon blast. After completing that phase, then, you know, rainfall it will took place, but with frequent gap. That is called break of monsoon. Those two terms are very, very important from their monsoon blast and break of monsoon, right? That things you need to remember. Next one, this this winds that uh, southwest southwest monsoon is is divided into two parts. What are those two parts? Arabian Sea branch and Bay of Bengal branch. Here you can see which part after coming to the southern part of India, monsoon divide southwest monsoon divide into two parts. One part is going over the Arabian Sea. Here you can see one part is going over the Arabian Sea. That is called the Arabian Sea branch. Another part is going over the Bay of Bengal. That is called Bay of Bengal branch. Right. So these are the southwest monsoon. The division of southwest monsoon. Monsoon. Next, quickly, next, that is the retreating monsoon. That is the October, November. During that time, what happened? Wind, it will start to come back. Wind, it will start to come back. It will start to change its direction. So now, wind, it will come back from there, right? So when it is coming over the Bay of Bengal, it will get some moisture from the Bay of Bengal. And here you can see, here, there is the Eastern Guards. So it will be obstruct, right? It will be obstruct. And as a result, this side, this side, here it will create heavy rain that is called Karamandal Karamandal coast in the Karamandal coast otherwise it will be given in other way like the Tamil Nadu Tamil Nadu gets rain during the October number due to the retreating monsoon another if it can be given another way which city that is the Chennai is located here right so Chennai is getting rain due to the retreating monsoon and what the other features you need to remember from retreating monsoon part that is October heat what is October heat oppressive heat that is high heat and humidity high heat and humidity both it will be high humidity also it will be high and the temperature also it will be high so it's difficult in this season right so that's why it is called october heat right so next after that the cold season remember cold season now wind it will start coming opposite way right here by the time here you will see the high pressure belt it will develop High pressure belt it will develop, so wind it will start coming from the land to the sea. From here to here you can see wind it will start coming from land to the sea. So that's why this during this month, what is this month? Month that is December to February, right? And what are the features? Western disturbances, right? Clear sky, that's why that time the humidity it will be less. So that will be, that's why it will be clear sky, pleasant weather, right? And low temperature, temperature also it will be less and low humidity. About these western disturbances, let's talk about the western disturbances now. Western disturbances basically what happened during this time in India, all over India there will be no such rain except one place. Which place? That is this part, right? Western part of India. What are those? That mainly Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana and part of Madhya Pradesh. That it will get rain. Why it is getting rain? Because from the Mediterranean Sea, westerly jet stream it will come. Westerly jet stream it will come. And by the time it will come over India, so there is a Himalayan mountain, right? It will be obstructed by the Himalayan mountain and it will create snowfall in the Jammu Kashmir. This part, Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, here you can see Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, it will create the snowfall. And in this part, that is Punjab, Punjab, Western Rajasthan and part of Madhya Pradesh, Haryana, part of Haryana also, it will get rain. Which month? During the month of December, January, February. So that it will help, uh, you know, to get the good cultivation of rabi crops, especially wheat. That you need to remember, right? So next, after that, you need to study about the, you know, rainfall distribution of India. Now, in India, you know, whole area is divided as per the rainfall, amount of rainfall. So, some area are there where you are getting heavy rain, right? More than 250 or 200 rainfall. So, which are those area? Those area are, here you can see, that is the western part of Western Ghat. This part, one part and another part one, that is uh, the, uh, the northeastern, northeastern hilly areas. These are the two parts where it is getting heavy rain. Why? Remember, these are the two parts. Especially, this western part of Western Ghat, this is the windward side. So, it's getting heavy rain during that time right and on the other hand leeward side it will be less rain 
right these are the two place where we are getting heavy rain next we will discuss about uh, the very less rain or there is no rain no rain here it will be there in Rajasthan why this the reason is there there is a mountain there is a mountain is called Arabelli mountain Arabelli mountain is just parallel to the southwest monsoon right so that's why you know it will not be it will not obstruct the southwest monsoon so this area there will be no rain or less rain less than 50 centimeter rainfall this area as well as this area Ladakh also there will be less rain except that most of the part of India it will get rain in between 50 to 200 centimeters per year right and remember one more thing two parts of India that is very very important right this part Karamandal coast is getting rain due to the rotating monsoon this part is getting rain due to the western disturbances there is no role of northeast monsoon here this part is getting rain due to the western disturbances that's it from this chapter if you will get question regarding that some place rainfall is more, some place rainfall is less, two place it will be given, give reason. So you always remember you need to answer according to the windward side and leeward side. Windward side rainfall it will be more, leeward side rainfall it will be less. One more clue, except one place that is there will be few cities like Kolkata and then Patna, then Lucknow, then Delhi, those area. If you will see in that sequence the question it will be given. Remember that is not for leeward or windward side that is due to the Bay of Bengal branch when it will come here it will be deflected by the Arakam Hills and it will enter from this side so which area it which cities it will come first there it will be more rain as it will proceed toward the west rainfall amount of rainfall it will be less right that's it from there and we are only left with the numerical part from the climate chapters there will be three marks question that you need to do the numerical calculation and all that it will be very easy for that i will come with another video for that you need to subscribe the channel and after this video your numerical problem it will be sorted out thank you very much